H as Travis here. Okay, the main line from the from the well is coming in right here. It's at one inch poly. And then you have your 12 to UF that goes out to the well. This is your starter box here. You have an out, outside capacitor, so you have a capacitor box in here. Um, half horsepower, 230 volt is what's down in the well currently right now. Uh, this is the power that goes to the pressure switch. And this switch right here is what kicks your pump on and off. You have a one inch check right here. And then here's your gauge that shows you what the pump's doing. And then your pressure switch that kicks your pump on and off. It looks like you just put a couple new pressure tanks in, so let's just see if see if they did anything with the switch. Okay, so they did put a new switch on, looks like. Okay. Over here is pressure relief valve. That's a safety precaution in case the pump would not shut off. This is your boiler drain to check it for air once a year. You want to check it to see how much air is in each one of these tanks. What they did was they have two tanks here. And the reason they probably did that is because it's called piggybacking is the name of it. That way you have more storage. So you have two, these are about 35 gallon tanks. So it gives you more storage. So the well, because uh, your well makes roughly around four gallon per minute. 